Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Hope you guys are having an awesome evening. Today I got my little help, helper Hopi out here. What's up Hopi? Good. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you real quick about my number one rule when raising pigs. What's up guys? As you probably know now, my number one rule is water. Always make sure they have a fresh source of water and also the, the temperature starting to rise. It was like 90 today. Make sure they have plenty of shade, which they do here, but also give them a mud hole. Give them the option to roll around in the mud because like most of you guys know, maybe some of you don't know, uh, pigs do not sweat so they will get sunburned very, very easily. When I first got my pigs, um, I knew it was very important for pigs to have fresh water. Obviously any animal um, is very important. Uh, but thing about pigs, they can dehydrate super fast. They can hydrate within 24 to 48 hours and die. Um, I, that happened to me uh, when I first go around um, with pigs. Um, I, I got them during the winter months, and um, I wasn't. Able, we had some very bad weather, and I wasn't able to get out here uh, for like 30 hours or something like that um, to come out here and bust their ice. Uh, and I had one that dehydrated, and one of the early signs of it is them walking around all stumbling around like they're all confused or can't see. Um, you can even put water right up to their to their mouth and they won't even drink it, they're just so out of it. Um, and that's what happened to one to one of my pigs and it's, um, it's changed my whole outlook. I mean, you have to make sure they have fresh water. And that's why I came up with that 300 gallon um, water, that automatic water. Um, because like whenever, uh, uh, if we're going out of, out of town for a day or two, um, I got the automatic feeder and automatic water and I always make sure I put plenty of water in, in their mud hole so it'll last a few days. Um, so that's my tip for you guys. My number one rule is make sure they got fresh water and a mud hole. You guys will have great success if you guys follow that. Obviously, you got to feed them, uh, but the water is, is, is very, very important. Uh, so if you guys are new to pigs and you guys didn't know pigs can dehydrate so fast, well, now you do. Um, I'm telling you, they, I've, I've experienced it firsthand. Not only read a ton about it, but experienced, uh, experienced it, and it was a lesson learned. I always make sure they got plenty of uh, fresh water and mud uh, for protection of the sun. You can see them back here. This brown one right here, you can see. I want to help he's petting. She is getting freaking big. That one right there is so big. And I got them on an automatic feeder, so they're getting plenty of food, obviously. She's just grown so much bigger. And she's got a different uh, mom, so she's more... This one is more red wattle uh, from these other ones. And uh, if you guys didn't know, um, I'll be building a pig pen or starting a pig pen soon. I got the funds in. I just need to make time to go over there and get uh, some of the materials so I can start it. But my goal is to start raising the red wattles year round. Um, and, I, and it's a, a realistic goal for me. Um, there's not a lot of people in my area that sell the red wattles. And I'm not even sure if a lot of people in my area are even familiar with red wattles. By far, the best uh, meat I've ever had, as far as pork wise, is from the red wattle we raised. We raised a full blood red wattle. Now these these are like 50% red wattle and something else. I can't remember what they are. Um, so this meat will be, I think, is going to be excellent. Um, but yeah, she's the one I'm keeping, and the other two are going to some families, uh, some close family friends of mine. And uh, I can't I can't wait to for this fall uh, to be able to to give them. Uh, fresh pork uh, from our homestead or hobby farm, whatever you want to call it. But I'm, I'm, I'm excited for it. it won't, won't get here fast enough. But if you don't keep fresh water in a mud hole and some shade or whatnot, um, you, I won't make it till fall. So that's very important. You can see them back here just playing. They're ready to eat. I'll show you guys filling this up. What's up, guys? This isn't the ideal, the best way to do this, but it's the easiest way that I'm able to do it. Fill my bucket up and fill my feeder up. Good job. Thank you. 
see they got good mud hole now. You guys know out here when it rains a lot, this whole thing's a mud hole, but we had like 90 degree weather today and it's calling for the high 80s of the next for the next week, uh, more or less. So I um, had to come out here this evening and, and uh, replenish their water hole. You might say their, their mud hole. But all right, guys, you seen Jesse at the beginning. Um, I let him out. That's what I've been doing with Jesse. I've been letting him out um, of the pen and he just sits there and eats. When he gets done, he'll start roaming around. So I got to watch him, put him back in. Um, I got those sheep distracted back there with one little scoop of feed. They're getting so big, no more. I got to cut them off. Um, I'm telling you, they're getting big. It's crazy. But yeah, how, Hadley, leave him alone. Get back. Get back. But yeah, Jesse's over here. I'm going to let him back in the main uh, pen. Sweating out here. It's, it's, humid. it's humid out here today. Uh, but hey, guys, hope you like this quick vlog. Just a quick advice. Uh, for new uh, newbies that are, are thinking about raising pigs or just got pigs and and uh, need a little bit of advice there you guys go uh, my number one rule is always uh, always make sure they got the water and you guys probably know that but if you don't now you do all right guys hope you liked today's vlog if you did smash that like button for me if you would if you're not subscribed to my channel hit that button too for me please hit that button and click that little bell for notifications and also Hold on, uh, sweating out here. Also, tomorrow's video is going to be update on uh, the forms. They got the forms all done. I'll get the drone out here. I'll show you guys the aerial of. I know a lot of you guys are really liking the aerial footage. You can see really what's going on. So I'm going to try to get that out for you guys tomorrow. So if you guys are into the house build, be ready for an update tomorrow. And uh, hopefully the plumbers will be out here in the next few days and they get the slab poured and all that. All right, guys, thanks for watching.